All right, so you just got your Baja, you got it back to the house, you got a big dent in your wallet, and now you're ready to rock and roll and get this thing rolling. First thing you want to do is, of course, go over your manual, get a little bit familiar with some of the newer, unfamiliar systems, uh, and particular things about this vehicle. Uh, definitely make sure you charge the receiver battery, make sure you got some good dry cells in your remote, and uh, that's pretty much about it. And get some pre-mixed fuel, 87 octane, and the provided oil, and we're pretty much ready to go. So let's give this thing a shot. First thing, as always, turn on your transmitter so there's a signal already going to the vehicle. Go ahead and turn on the Baja. Switch is right down there. Just make, make a once over, make sure you got, got your steering, make sure you got throttle actuation, good brakes, and we're ready to go. First thing we want to do is we want to get this primer bulb filled with fuel so the carbs got some fuel. There it is, right there. Maybe once after that. Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and apply your choke, put it in the vertical position. We're going to pull the pull start just a couple times until we hear it fire. Like that. Now you turn your choke off back to the vertical position. She should fire. Unlike your nitro friends, these guys are really finicky with the needle valves. Very small increments. Generally speaking, about a sixteenth of a turn is the increments that you'd want to adjust these in. Your low end is indicated with the smaller screw that has the L over it. If, you need, if your idle is a little loppy, you might need to, to lean it out just a tad. If your idle is too fast, you might want to richen it up just a tad. Generally speaking, only about this much right here. Makes a big difference. I'm going to illustrate what I just talked about by adjusting the low end both ways to show how it walks. If you rich it too much, you notice your idle gets really loppy, it's too much fuel. You go back, you go too lean, you start speeding your idle up because you're starving the engine of fuel. Neither of which you want. You want the sweet spot in the middle. Just about like that, probably. Now that we've adjusted the low end, we can adjust the high end, which is what we were having a problem with going up this hill. So now what we need to do is go ahead and adjust that high end jet. That is indicated here with the H above the needle, the bigger one, or the one to the left, if you're looking at the carburetor on this side. We're going to lean it out just about a sixteenth of a turn, and I think we'll see a little bit of difference on the high end. Alright, so we just went through the starting procedure and maybe nothing's working. It just doesn't want to start. Maybe it doesn't even sound like it, it wants to even fire. There's a couple things you need to check before giving our customer service department a call. It might save you a little bit of time. First, check the muffler bolts. Make sure they're nice and snug. If the exhaust is leaking, could definitely cause problems with starting it. The next set of screws you're going to want to check are the intake manifold screws, which I have my screwdriver on right here. Make sure those are nice and snug holding the, the composite manifold. And the next set of screws, you're going to need to remove your air filter. You'll find two large bolts behind that that go all the way through the intake manifold and into the block of the motor. Also make sure those are nice and tight. If either one of those are even remotely loose, definitely that could cause a problem with starting the vehicle.